Uh, today I'm here with Sean. Once me? Again. It's you. <coughs> can, I, can I do that again? Me! Because it is St. Patty's Day today. Woo! And I did not say St. Patty. I said Patty. Yeah. With a D. So that, that You're learning. I am learning. I'm proud of you. And that's actually what we're going to make this video about today is, is have I actually learned anything about living in Ireland and living with an Irish person? So we've got this book full of slang that we're gonna, well, Sean is gonna siphon through. It's called, now that's what I call a big feckin' Irish book. Yeah. So it has some Irish slang and insults, and you're gonna try and figure out what they mean. Yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting. I, I, I learned a little bit from Sean while living in Ireland, and you sort of pick up the mumbling and the, the, the <laughs> slurring of words. I don't know, some, some of these things, like watching some of your Irish slang videos, I was like, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think anybody knows what they mean. And even like you pronouncing it, I was like, God, I mean, how, how, how do you do that? There's some of the ones in these books that I read, and I'm like, I, no one says that. Yeah. I've never heard that. It's like top of the morning, it's like, no one says that. It's just a stereotype. Yeah. Um, so don't, don't judge her too harshly, because she's probably not going to get any of these. Probably not. We'll, so we'll start in the A's. We'll do one that I did. It's an alco. Alco? If someone's an alco. Oh, it's something you can be. Yeah, something you'd call someone that they are. Crazy? A person who is regularly inebriated. Excuse me? Like alco, like alcohol. Oh, I see. Oh, you're an alcoholic. You're an alco. All right, right, right. Oh, you big, so you're thick, and alcohol wood. You're usually drunk. When yeah. <laughs> I should have just gone with that. Uh, alcohol, Irish. This, this one, I don't know. It says Apache, and it says it's a joyrider. That smart arse little Apache fecker calls himself dances with Porsches. Yeah. Okay. When you bring in the other words, it's start, starting to sound Irish. <laughs> Uh, an Amadon. An Amadon? No, well, just Amadon. But someone can be an Amadon. Oh god. Something to do with alcohol again? No. No. <laughs> I know, that's a safe bet for mm. most of these, but no. Um. You, you don't think about it like, what does the word sound like? Because it doesn't... It's, oh, great. Because I was going to say dumb, but... Well, yeah. Really? You're an idiot, or an imbecile, or a fool. You're an Amadon. You're a lewd or <laughs> banjaxed. Ban banjaxed? You banjaxed that guy from YouTube. Yeah, that, that was the one. <laughs> banjaxed. Um, I don't know, you've hijacked something? Ooh, that's not the answer we were looking for, Sina. What? Our survey says <laughs> broken or severely damaged. I like Babby. Babby. Small little Babby. A wee babby. little Babby. A wee little Babby child. Yeah, so Banjax. Me marriage to Deco is completely Banjax. It's not even spelled the way I thought it would have been spelled either. There's an X in there. Jaxed. Yeah. Like Mortal Kombat Jax. Yeah. Broken or severely damaged. Broken or severely damaged. That's what we were going for. We were going for Leafy. 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 Be Javers. Well, that one I've heard before. And I, I don't think you'll get what it actually means. I assume it's just like an expression. Yeah. Yeah, you just say like, be Javers. Yeah, it's right. like by Jesus. Yeah. Bigara is by God, and be mm. Javers is by Jesus. We would say something silly as well in Danish. This has nothing to do with St. Patrick's Day or anything. It's I fine, culture, it's spread it. Uh, we'd say, tak for kaffe, which just means thank you for the coffee. But oh yeah, that makes perfect sense now that I think about it. It's more like a, like an expression of like, oh my god. What? Yeah. Thank you for the coffee! <laughs> oh, I didn't see that spider over that there. That was wild. <laughs> blather. Oh, I've heard this before. Blather? You're blathering. Oh, you're, you're uh, mumbling? Or you're stumbling over your words? But it means that you're talking nonsense. Yeah. Worthless chatter. I see. You're blathering. I need to pick some different ones. These are the ones I did in my video. Um, <laughs> oh, but this one's so good. Cax. Cax? It's because uh, the way I said it was like, suck a cack. <laughs> and it's something got to do with that area. Oh no! Cax? It sounds like something to do with pants. Because khakis. Mm -hmm. um, Keep that train of thought going. Mm -hmm. But it's not something you can be? No. It's, it's something you wear. Yeah. So a, a pair of, of jeans? Or Under, a pair of underwear. 
Yeah, okay. Your cacks. Should... You're shitting in your cacks. <laughs> I don't know why it says a cute whore is a suspiciously resourceful gentleman. But... A whore is a whore. Yeah. You're a cute whore. Well, I guess that comes back to the whole insult is actually a compliment thing. Yeah. <laughs> I need to... I need to... Mm. What yeah. letter are we on now? G. Gob. That's the same like gob shite, right? Eh, kind gob. of. Well, it's the same gob, you're but you're a it's... gob. Or is it something you can be? It's something that your the human body has. <laughs> and it's not a penis. Thank you. If I said shut your gob. Oh, it's your mouth. Yeah. Damn it, I shouldn't have given it away. <laughs> shut your gob! Yeah, well, a little too easy, but I feel like I should have known that. A gossip. See, these don't make any sense. No one's ever gonna get these. Why do you have so many G ones? Gossip. Gossip. Uh, a small gossip. A child. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna be joking, like, what's the worst thing? It's like, a child. A child. <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a gossip is a small child. And it's not spelled the way I thought it would either. No, it's spelled like Gassoon. Yeah. I like, I like how it has heifer in there. It's like, it's just a female cow. Really? Yeah. But it's like used for an unattractive girl in Ireland. Oh, uh, yeah. She's a heifer. Don't do that. Knackered. If you're knackered. You're sleepy? Yeah! <laughs> she got it! I knew that. Good job! Thank you. Proud of you. Yay! Right, right, right. Ah, feck. Ah, feck it anyway. BJS is to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> ah, to be sure, to be sure. A Mickey. That's a penis. Yeah, <laughs> that's a penis. <laughs> that's a penis. Mickey, childish name for male organ. Usage, when he sees a short skirt, his Mickey's like a diving rod. <laughs> what are you if you're loopers? Crazy? Yeah. It's loopers what psychiatrists charge. It's kind of like loony, I yeah. feel like. Very much so. If it's nippy. I know this one, because you had that one before. It's cold. Yeah. We've had this one earlier. A mot. Mot? Oh, yeah. Um. You looked at it and went, what the hell is that? Yeah. God, what was it? I can't remember. It's a girlfriend. That was it. And we were trying to figure out what the boyfriend one was. Yeah. Did you ever figure that out? No. It was like, I thought it was Bjor, but Bjor was another word for girlfriend. For some Irish people, it's like, she's some Bjor. That sounds very Swedish. On the lash. If you're on the lash, what are you doing? Oh God, on the lash. Uh, you are out drinking? Yeah. Just. Coming back to the whole drinking thing. Also the same as on the piss. <laughs> I like these little drawings. Yeah. They're very cute. Look at them. Oh, is that even? Yeah, it showed up. Pogue me, I'm Irish. A puss. See, this is like a, a exam. Yeah. I'm testing you. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. You, uh, you've said it so many times before. It's the same as your gob. Yeah, so it's, so it's your mouth. Yeah. Sour puss. No, it's your face then. Well, yeah. It's more got to do with like your sulking face. Scoops. They call me big hoops. <laughs> they call me big scoops. Scoops, scoops, scoops. Scoops McElroy. <laughs> Is that something like shots, maybe? Close. It's just drinks. Oh. If you're going out for drinks, you're going out for a few scoops. Okay. Sound. Is it spelled like the normal sound? Yeah, it's just the word sound, but if it's something that somebody can be. If someone is sound... They're a good person. Yeah. Yeah. They're decent. Good, solid, and dependable. This is one that I hadn't heard in years, and I was like, I saw it, and I was like, I have no idea what that Flashbacks means. Flashbacks to when that... Yeah. I was like, I haven't heard this in like 15 years. It's Wojus. One more time? Wojus. W-O-J-U-S. Wojus. The word is Wojus. And the usage is every bleeding government service in Ireland is wogeous. They're woke. Woke as fuck. <laughs> wogeous. Wokus. Finna woke. What does it mean? Extremely poor quality. Oh god. And then you use that sentence Your for it. Your face is wogeous. A yoke. A joke? <laughs> 
No. Like a fun time? Or no, something? no. <laughs> That's having a crack. Oh, right. A yoke is just anything. Oh. It's like that lamp is a yoke. That lad over there, he's a queer looking yoke. You just make up words for things? Yeah, and it's not spelled like egg yolk, it's Y O K E. Yeah. That's nice, some yolk. It's like if someone's like, you yes. don't take them seriously. It's a fine yolk. I don't. You have no idea what I'm talking about then. Fine I guess it yolk. has to be contextual. Yeah, it's kind of like what you're looking at or what's around you. Mm. It's like, there's that lamp over there, it's a queer looking yolk, isn't it? <laughs> I don't say queer looking yolk. Queer looking yolk. Well, queer means odd or queer, but it's not in like a. A homosexual variety. Well, that lamb over there is looking mighty homosexual. <laughs> no! Last one. Are you ready? I am ready. Yonks. <laughs> Yonks? Why? Oh god. It sounds like a Harry Potter character. It does. It, de it definitely sounds like Tonks. I'm trying to give you a hint. Because there's no way you get these without a hint. There's Like it makes no sense. I'm just gonna go back to the whole alcohol thing every time. Yonks. Let's see, let's see what the usage is. The usage might give it away though. It'll be yonks upon yonks before Ireland wins the World Cup. Years. A very long time. Yeah. God, I haven't heard wolges and yonks. That's such a great word. Wolges? No. Yonks. yonks. It's like, God, it's been yonks since I heard any of these Irish words. Because people just think, like, if you don't have the accent, they're just gonna think you're making stuff up. Yeah. So you're just gonna slam them. But that's the thing. With some cultural facts. It's like it's not even like a basis on other words that people have made up and we just made our own. It's like mm. we made up our own words for things. And then we say them and to every Irish person it's like, yeah, that makes sense. It's like shoot your gob. It's like obviously that means mouth, because it's like you heard that all your life, but when you hear it, it's like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well some well, of them some I, of them are based on Irish words. Yeah. And yeah, that I think that's where it's it like differs a lot compared to other slang that you'd use nowadays. Big feckin' Irish book that wasn't actually that big. But it sure had a good a good amount of slang. It brought us closer slang. together as people. Well it also has like family names and trivia and proverbs. I'm like no one cares. Yeah, no one cares about Ireland. Especially on St. Paddy's Day. Forty percent of all sales of Guinness are in Africa. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know that. At the 1908 Olympics, Irish athletes competing for other countries won 23 medals, including eight golds. Wow. Also, Irish people are really good at boxing. Yes. Boxing and rugby. In Ireland, and the life- hurling. Gaul hurling. In Ireland, the life expectancy for a man is 75 years. Oh my fucking gosh, you fucking oh. idiot. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for coming on. No problem. Coming on like this is some sort of TV show. You I'll be on live. next week to teach you more about the Irish and the feck. You literally live here. But I just wanted you to come, like, reinvigorate the, the Irish spirit. Somebody has been representing Irish culture out there on YouTube. Exactly. I even wore a green sweater for this and it's very warm in here, so. I'm not wearing green. I used to get away with it for years because my hair was green, so I didn't have to wear anything. That means you have to pinch me. Why? Because if I'm not wearing green, you have to pinch someone if they're not wearing green on Paddy's Day. Really? Why? Pinch me! Why? You didn't pinch me, you pulled hairs. Ow! <laughs> that was a good one. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. No problem. It was fun. It was I, fun. So many of the Irish words that I forgot. Like, you taught me, of course, hello and stuff like that when we were living in Ireland, but... You're off a gee bag. Yeah, I know. I need to shut my gob. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!